Our next welcome address is, will be coming from the University of the Philippines, Las Bagnas. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the Chancellor has prior commitments, so he sent his representative with us today, the Vice Chancellor for Research and Extension. A round of applause to Dr. Rex B. Thank you and good morning. Uh, today marks the uh, 110th founding uh, anniversary of UP in the Spanish. Uh, March 6, 1909, uh, the College of Agriculture uh, was uh, instituted, established by the Board of Regents. So it's, uh, it's a very heavy day today. We have um, kind of 10 uh, activities today that plays why the Chancellor sat around and was instructed to uh, read the message, read this message, read this form. And uh, we have a very wide range of activity that I, I do believe that we are all uh, asked to assign the Chancellor. Well, the UPL is also blessed with uh, so many support from the government, especially the infrastructure. Uh, to be, uh, today, uh, we will be opening the uh, new national roads. National roads will lead inside the campus, uh, creating two new uh, lanes, going to the International Rice Institute, then going to the Institute of Plant Breeding, Passing through our PESA, the you know, Special Economic Zone, which was approved uh, three years ago. And hopefully we'll be able to uh, return the original plan of having a train station and depot within the university area, adjacent, because it's very important in the delivery of materials and products. We have also new buildings for the graduate school and also for the College of Agriculture, now named College of Agriculture and Food Science. And I think uh, many dignitaries are also coming, including the Secretary of the Department of Public Works and Health. So the Chancellor sent his apology, but is very happy that uh, today, the second forum after 12 years, is in Los Banos, and uh, truly it would help us a lot in our research and other engagement, especially on the biodiversity and problem. So personally, I would like to congratulate, of course, our director, Dr. Casey Gonzalez, as well as the um, co-organizers, ENR, DA, and PCCI, for uh, being with us, joining us, in, uh, uh, inviting us in uh, coming up with this second form of crocodile in the Philippines. So uh, let me read the message of the chancellor. <coughs> Uh, to the Rector, Chris Manuel Rodriguez, representing our Secretary, uh, Roy Simato, and to the President of his CPPI, uh, Mr. Vincent Mercado. Thank you, sir. Of course, I'm a chemical engineer, so I'm very sorry. Uh, I, I, I can't really recognize our dignitaries, but uh, thank you very much for our speakers. I'm sure you came from a long way. Thank you for coming. Uh, sharing your expertise and experience, says, uh, of course, uh, other speakers coming from the different agencies here in the Philippines, and to Dr. Gonzalez, guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning, and welcome to the second forum of Crocodile in the Philippines. Before we begin, I would like to acknowledge and thank our partners from DNR, Department of Agriculture, the Crocodilos, Corossos, Philippines Incorporated, CIRCA, who hosted us today, and other partners for their support in this engaging and important event. Today marks the first of the three-day forum that seeks to discuss the status and issues confronting the two important indigenous species of crocodiles, the Crocodilos Dilos Corossos, or the saltwater crocodile, and the crocodilus mendurensis, 
or the Philippine Parliament. Particular importance will be given to discussions on conservation efforts and sustainable management of this magnificent repellents. Crocodilians have been around as a species since the dinosaurs roamed our planet, and they have evolved to play an important role as the apex predator of their chosen or preferred ecosystem. Crocodiles are featured heavily in our culture, Philippine culture, from ancient myths to modern pop culture, of often powerful and dangerous creatures forged through millions of years of predator evolution. Yet despite their place as predator at the top of the food chain, many crocodilians are considered in danger. I just learned today. <clears throat> Human activities such as hunting and poaching, as well as pollution and habitat destruction, all contribute to the decline of the crocodile population. Thus, it is our responsibility to raise awareness about the importance of these magnificent animals and implement necessary protection and conservation programs to prevent their decline. Conservation efforts for critically endangered species like the Philippine crocodile and the sustainable practices in reference to non endangered species like saltwater crocodiles must be discussed, improved, and implemented. Thus, I encourage all, all participants to actively participate in the sign up in this forum. Also, I encourage everyone to help spread the correct and helpful information about these amazing animals. Once again, good morning to all of you and may have an insightful and inspiring forum. Maraming salamat and mabuhay na